Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, sir. Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zafoon, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> yeah. Chitty Bang, and we pretty much amazing. Can we hear your new song, please? I got you. Hello, Miles. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for the invitation. Phil, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Phil. So you have any questions for me? Yeah, what makes an automotive engineer so unique and different and special? from other engineers. Well, my automotive engineering is one of the most exciting professions you can choose from. From global concerns of mobility, teaching cars how to drive themselves, to working out how we get around the surface of Mars, automotive engineering is all about the future. However, all engineering disciplines use the term DRP. What's DRP? No problem, Mal. DRP stands for design, which is designing new products and improving existing ones. Research and development, finding solutions to engineering problems, and production, planning and designing new production processes. What other challenges do automotive engineers face? The challenges we face on a daily basis is endless. Automotive engineers work in every area of the industry, from the look and feel of current cars to the safety and security of new forms of transport. So attempting to make these cars fast as possible and keeping them fuel efficient may seem like an impossible task, but these are the kinds of problems automotive engineers endure every day. Wow. Thanks for the information. No problem, Mal. Thank you for coming. What's up guys? Phil here. And according to NAE's website, they have 14 ideas displayed on their outline and automotive engineers just tend to focus on two of them. One of them is to make solar energy more economical, and today, automotive engineers have been able to integrate solar energy to be used in vehicles to charge their car batteries and power their vehicle's accessories. However, automotive engineers haven't fully created a fully solar-powered vehicle yet. Even though engineers have been able to create these solar-powered vehicles, none of them have been able to be introduced to the market yet. However, as technology advances, automotive engineers will be able to use solar more efficiently and hopefully creating a fully powered solar vehicle. The next topic will be developing carbon sequential methods. Within the last 50 years, automotive engineers have done a great job revolutionizing the car's emission system. Improving emissions on vehicles will allow us to keep nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxides, and hydrocarbons out of the air. For example, one of these parts on a vehicle's emission system is the catalytic converter. And by improving the longevity of the vehicle's catalytic converter, we can keep the air free from these harmful gases because these catalytic converters tend to go bad after roughly 10 years. I'd just like to mention the three statistics we chose to measure. It was horsepower, 0 to 60 acceleration time, and 60 to 0 braking distance. We chose these because they are the most commonly used statistics for the consumer reports in the automotive industry. They help inform the drivers of the car's performance and safety. Hey, yo, I 